Not all natural products are safe to be consumed naturally. So guys, welcome to Live Healthy with Judith and I'm still your host, Judith O'Pearfully. Happy, happy new year to every one of you and I am super excited because this is officially my first video post in the year 2024 and i am so glad to be doing this year with you watching me right now so please if this is your first time of stopping by you are on the right channel don't go anywhere but do me a favor by hitting that subscribe button down there and joining this healthy family we do everything about health wellness natural remedies natural recipes healthy recipes we talk about faith we talk about lifestyle and so much more that would take your health this year and beyond to the next level so stick with me and also give us a thumbs up if you like this video and also do well to share to all your friends and family and lastly you know i love to read comments and i like to respond to them so drop your beautiful comments about today's video and if you have any questions or inquiries please do well to drop it in the comment section or you send me an email and i will be glad to respond to you so without wasting much time let's get into the video in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you quickly four natural plants you should never consume without knowledge and like i shared in the beginning of this video post that not all natural products are safe to be consumed naturally yes because the fact that they are natural doesn't give you the right and leverage to consume that so please watch this video to the end because the number four plant will definitely shock you because it will scatter the table so number one of this natural plant you should never consume without knowledge is bitter leaf yes bitter leaf is a very popular leaf and it is widely grown in west african countries and especially my country here in nigeria where bitter leaf is used in preparation of many delicacies and as a natural remedy while some persons you know just take it for leisure and so many other things you see it being infused in so many drinks especially in all of this alcoholic drink which i always stand and advocate that it is never supposed to be you are not supposed to mix a natural product with an alcoholic content for you to get the best of it never so back to what i was saying so bitter leaf is widely consumed but can i tell you that as beneficial as that leaf is it can actually be detrimental to your health if it is not consumed in the right dosage and you remember when i shared in my previous post on how my thesis was on bitter leaf and then i discovered a whole lot which i'm going to share in some other videos to tell you in details what and what cases or issues you should never consume it but right here i'm telling you that if you ever need to consume bitter leaf please know a lot about it or know a little about it and then also seek the guidance of a nutritionist a dietitian or even your physician which is your doctor so that you will be able to lean on their knowledge so as not to fall a prey of the dangers or the consequences of your ignorance so please find out the dosage with which you're going to be consuming that bitter leaf for any kind of remedy or else challenge you want to use it to treat so number two natural plant you should never consume without knowledge is moringa plants moringa plant also known as the miracle plant everybody talks about moringa and all of his magnificent benefits yes it is highly beneficial to the health and does so many wonders. In fact, it is a multiversal plant that is used to treat different kind of ailments in your health. But here I have to tell you that as much as Moringa is beneficial to the health, it can also be detrimental to the health if the particular plant is not taken in the right dosage and the right path. Because Moringa, all of the plants as a whole, is highly um, useful they are all useful the back the roots the stem the leaves they are all useful but not all of the parts ought to be consumed naturally so you need to lean on the guidance of your nutritionist dietitian and or a physician so these are important because if moringa is not taken in the right dosage it could affect your liver and kidney function 
it could also result in uterine cells contraction and it could also lead to hypotensive and bradycardial effects in your heart so you need to get knowledge before consuming that particular plant and number three of this plant is purple leaf so purple leaves are actually used in preparing one of the nigerian widely known natural solution called agbo where it is used to treat several ailments and i want to tell you that purple leaves are very powerful and they are also very deadly so you need to understand what ailment you are using that leaf to treat before consuming it because purple leaf has the potency to generate cancer cells if they are not taken in the right manner just like your car cannot be totally worked upon by you you need to take your car to the mechanic or a specialist in cars to deal with it so that is the same thing with your health you do not just wake up suddenly one day and start consuming natural products just to think or just in the assumption that that particular natural product can fix your health so you might be taking it for a headache and it could be resulting to another thing in the body of that person causing ulcer causing cell toxicity causing inflammation and the rest of it but this is like you know treating one and also you know causing great damage in another no it is not supposed to be so that is why you should never consume this particular plant and all of the other plants that i've talked about without knowledge and the last but not the least but before i talk about the last natural plant you should never consume without knowledge please if you haven't subscribed to this channel ah, you are not doing well at all so yeah hit that button hit that button right now and join this healthy family and also give us a thumbs up for this video if you know that this video has been of value to you and if you have any question don't hesitate to put it in the comment section so guys the last but not the least natural plant you should never consume without knowledge is hibiscus leaf <laughs> the popular almighty zobo that is so common and rampant in nigeria yes you see that leaf you see that drink, that Zobo drink? Oh my goodness. Please do not consume it without knowledge. And especially for someone who is in the pregnancy state, someone who has conceived or who wants to conceive or who is in their first trimester, do not consume that particular leaf without knowledge because Zobo contain highly powerful compounds that can contract your uterus. It has that power to contract the uterus, therefore can lead to early abortion. These are facts that studies have proven. Now, I'm not saying for other people, some persons might have a peculiar case, but I am begging you to take time or do your due diligence to always seek knowledge before consuming all of these four plants. And lastly, I hope all of these four plants, you have gotten value and knowledge on how and who you should seek guidance from before consuming it so that you will not be part of the people sharing negative testimonies, but you will be part of the people sharing positive testimonies of the consumption of all of this natural plant. Thank you all for watching till this time. And please don't forget, like I said, to give this video a thumbs up if that's been of value to you. And please also, if you have any question, please drop it and also share. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Until I see you again in my next video to stay healthy and stay blessed. Bye.